Yeah, give me a few years. Evil comes with age. Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, uh, we'll see. You said 16, right? R or Q, right? Or N Q. And not P. Okay, cool. Because just to kind of let you in here on what I think is going to happen, today we're going to do one section, and then next Monday we have the quiz, and then we're going to do one section, and that section 3 6, I'm either going to, I'm probably going to put it for the next, so after the test. Yeah. So the first test will go up to 3 5, is what I'm going to do, so we can fit all that stuff in. I don't like changing test dates, but I don't mind changing test content. Yeah. Um, Hmm? The test date, you already changed it? Yeah, I know, because <laughs> I didn't want to change the content too much. Uh, let's see. We always have to compromise somewhere, right? So how do I set this up? Who remembers the shortcut to set these up? So they're oh, correct. One. one thing to make sure, you alphabetical order. And then four, meaning this is four truths, four falses, and then two. This goes a little bit crazier, right? And then it just goes insane. True, false, true, false. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll see that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, if you can imagine, like, having something with six variables and sitting there as your teacher creates them on the board, I understand how boring that could be. So, this is enough, I think. Um, so, then we write out what we're dealing with here. And let me see if I can continue this, what I started last time. Let's, let's try to bring in the shortcuts here. The only real thing I need to write underneath something up there right now is, is under which one? Under uh, the not P. I mean, yeah, it's the not P. Everything else I've got already. Right. So what, would I, what I'm going to put under this not P here? False, 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 false. Yeah, false. so false, 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 false. I'm trying desperately without lines to keep this straight. Okay, I'm already off. Great. So we're like this, it's straight. No, okay. Uh, so R and Q. Uh, and you guys went to that because that's what we should do first, right? The parentheses first. So I'm going to and these guys. And is only true when they're both true. So here they're both true. And here they're both true. And so everywhere else, Oh my gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> false, false, false. False, false, false. Let me stop right there. Does everybody see how that works? When you look at a truth table at the end, you're like, holy crap, but the work that goes into it is not that much. There's a lot of repeating symbols, but I mean, you fill it up with a lot of crap. But the only thing we care about is those match up with their statement. Everything else doesn't. Bam. Right? And now what do you want to do with these? Compare to, Compare to those. <laughs> the board is always weird. All right. <laughs> so I want to and these with these. So and again is only true. when both are true. So let's see now. These are both true. Right? Oh, God, Jeff, this is terrible. Because <laughs> I was really, really. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> it looks straight here, sorry. Yeah. Well, and, and, and so, and is only true when they're both true, they're true, both true there, and that's it. That's that's it. it. So it's yeah. false everywhere else. I messed up on my map keys. I did it with my cues. And then box that off. Yeah, I put it on the extension. I put false, false, false. Um, I was also wondering if you could do like 31 to 42, but where they give you is true, he was false, ours. Oh, yeah. And that's that type, like right here, if I said um, R is true, Q is false, oh, let me just put is, and P is false. Uh, this is section 31 through 42. 
on, on uh, section 3.2 homework. So this part of the homework, they're just going to give you values directly for the letters. So this is the one that's exactly like algebra. I just plug those in. So I take my statements, and I just plug it in. So that should actually be easier than this. This is doing it up for eight things. Now I only want to do it for one thing. So I just plug directly in. What, what do I put in place of R? Tree. Tree. True. <laughs> and? False. False. And? True. Yeah, not false, which is true. Why didn't you go to the alphabet? Why didn't you just go negative Q? Like P, Q, R, so it would be negative P and negative Q and inside the brackets and then and R. Where did the negative Q come from? Q is false. Oh, oh. If I say to you uh, negative R, negative R, can you tell me if that's true or false? No, right? I've got to know what R itself is. So I'm not going to change Q from to negative Q. That would be changing my equation here if you want to go that far. This is like a, an equation they gave me. So where are, where are the, the signs coming from? Like, from the like equation. But like negative P? This is negative Isn't there a negative P? P? Not P. Is yeah, it's the same not equation, P. right? Yeah. Not P. Not P. Not P. Yeah, the negation of P, not okay. P. Then how do you know if it's false? I mean, because false or true. Because uh, they told me. Oh, so the this is just like in algebra if I gave you this problem and I said what if x is 5, y is 2, and z is negative 4? Mm -hmm. When you just write the exact same form, you wouldn't go in and change, I don't like y, I want to make it negative y. You can't change what they gave you, you just replace it with what you know. What, why isn't the q showing a negative value? q is false. q is false, so it's showing that it's false. But right? there's no negation symbol? Is there a negation symbol? Is there a negation is that symbol? The same? No. So I really want you to understand. Negation does not mean false. No. Negation means the opposite of whatever it is. Yes. So oh, okay. what is this symbol? What does this equation say? I want an R there, I want a Q there, and I want a P with a not on it there. Okay. So I put what R was there. Why are the R and the Q together though? I don't understand. Say again? Why are the R and the Q group together? There's um, the, if R uh, is true. Uh, because that's what it is. In the question. They have to give me an equation to work with. Yeah. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I got nothing to put anything in. So this is just what they gave me to work so, with, right? Okay, so if you're just looking at the R is true, Q is false, and P is false, there has to be an equation first, and then exactly. it's just identify. Because if I gave you an algebra test and I said, uh, simplify if this, and, it, and that's all I told you. That's okay. the first thing I say is, Jeff, I think you lost some algebra. I got nowhere to put these. <coughs> well, here I got places to put them, right? Mm -hmm. And now I know the rules. And of course, I know I have to do in the parentheses first. So, yes. and is only false. Yeah, and, here's and false because and is only true when they're both true. So this is false. And of course, you guys already told me not false is. And again, and is only true when they're both true. So that's false. And to make the connection, uh, F F T right? P Q R F. F, T. Isn't that the same? P is false, Q is false, R is true. And for that line, we got false. So we just kind of verified that single entry, right? How are we doing? So I really want you to see the parallels between logic analysis <coughs> and algebra, because algebra is an extension of logic, right? Just with specifically with our number system normally. And this now can handle statements that I throw in there. So it just goes a different way. Well, somebody's got good writing. Not me. Okay, so, so what I want to do is first off fill in a bit of a hole that I haven't covered yet, which is uh, the order operations and how they look in logic. And in logic, order operations is called dominance, which is the most dominant symbol. This is three four. No, this is uh, before that, but it's. I can't remember where they put this at. Just something I haven't addressed yet.
think it's in 3.3. Three. So the way I look at this is, and every statement I've given us so far has already had parentheses in there. Right. So just for an algebra example, if I have uh, 4 minus 5 times 7, <laughs> you don't need parentheses there really. But if you could put them in there, what, where could you put them in? It wouldn't change anything. I mean, what would you have to do first then? Do you subtract or multiply first? So you could put parentheses there and it's the same thing, right? Because we know what's the dominant symbol there in a way, right? We know that this comes before this does. In logic, it's, it's, it's not quite the same thing. The most dominant symbol is the one that splits the thing <coughs> apart into two pieces. So let me show you what I mean. The most dominant, so I'm going to go from most dominant to least. So the most dominant symbol I, I, is this guy. And really, I kind of make it like a, I call it a super equal sign. So, for example, <laughs> the funny thing is in algebra, we never really address this directly, but the most dominant symbol in there is the equal sign, because what splits that up into two parts? The equal sign. So I call it a super equal sign because I call the if then an equal sign. So this guy is more dominant than this guy. Okay. And then the and and the or are on the same footing. Sort of like adding, subtracting, or multiplying by. And then you got the not is at the end. So practically, what does this mean? What the hell do I have to do with this, Jeff? This is what you have to do with it. If I give you a statement that has no parentheses in it, you want to put them in for yourself because we're not as used to this as we are to order operations. So for example, um, if I give you If and only if. And this is the if then, the and the or, and the negation. What's that? What do you mean? Oh. Uh, are we going to make a two table out of this? No. So do we care? No. What's the most dominant symbol in there? The, the, two arrow the double arrow, the super equal sign, right? So immediately I can do this. <coughs> 